Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to learn about uh, the AWS KMS multi-region keys. Now first let's try to understand what is the need of multi-region keys. Now as always we are going to start with a small animated presentation and then we are going to proceed to a demo. Alright, so imagine that you have customer managed keys in two different regions, Mumbai region and Singapore region. Now you're doing quite okay, uh, all the Mumbai data you're able to encrypt and decrypt using your Mumbai key and you're able to encrypt and decrypt the Singapore data using Singapore key, right? Now there are many reasons uh, why you don't want to access keys across regions. Uh, maybe there are some data sovereignty issues or you have uh, uh, some uh, restrictions uh, put in your organization not to access uh, keys across regions, right? And generally it is recommended to use keys that are within a particular region or hitting the KMS endpoint that is within that region. Now imagine that uh, you have this encrypted file uh, which comes from Mumbai region and now you want to for some reason take it to the Singapore region um, and you want to uh, decrypt that file now. now is there a way to do that? Well, uh, there was no way to do that. Uh, the only way what uh, you could do is uh, you can actually um, decrypt the file right here, um, encrypt the file with the Singapore key and then send that key over to the Singapore region and then uh, when in Singapore region you can have that file uh, decrypted right, or kept uh, encrypted with the key uh, within the Singapore region. right? Now uh, with uh, KMS's multi-region keys, um, now that is possible. You can move the data from uh, encrypted in one region to another region and you can use something called as multi-region keys which basically key creates a key, re key replica in the target region and uh, using the same key ID then uh, what you could do is basically you can move the encrypted data from Mumbai region to Singapore region and then uh, use the same key ID to actually decrypt the data into its plain text form. Now that's basically how um, you know multi-region keys uh, help you. Now where are uh, these multi-region keys come into picture? Now AWS customers actually um, many of the AWS customers work in multiple regions. Now let us say they want to have Singapore region as the disaster recovery region. They want to make sure that whatever data that they have in Singapore region uh, works uh, or whatever encrypted data that they have in Singapore region, they're able to have access to it even if uh, the Mumbai region was completely not available, right? So previously what they would have to do is uh, they have to encrypt the data with the KMS key in Singapore region, take it over to Singapore region and keep it there. Now that was a lot of work, right? Uh, so instead now all you have to do is you just move the data uh, in its encrypted format from one region to another region. Um, you use the multi-region keys to actually uh, decrypt this data or encrypt if you want to later as well. So now uh, let's go ahead and look at the demo for KMS multi-region keys. Now, before we go to the multi-region keys, let's really quickly look at the standard uh, single region keys, whether uh, they are helpful to us or not. So I have a symmetric key here uh, in Mumbai region. Uh, so we are going to use that uh, key uh, to actually encrypt and decrypt a file. And we're going to try uh, to use this key while uh, or simulating as if we were in Singapore region. And let's see what happens. Okay, so first, uh, let's just go ahead and use uh, this particular key and uh, try to encrypt a file. So uh, let me do an ls. Um, what I have uh, in this particular uh, secret message, let me get that. So I have a sample file which has this text, uh, hello from Mumbai, India. This message needs, needs to be kept secure. So let's go ahead and encrypt it. So I'm gonna say AWS KMS, KMS encrypt and I'm gonna say plain text minus minus plain text and I'm going to give this a file which is basically sorry the secret message.txt and then I'm going to give it the key ID to be the one that we copied and I'm going to say region ap south one now this makes sure that um, we are simulating as if uh, we were in that region uh, and uh, mentioning the region will make sure that this actually hits the KMS endpoint in Mumbai region. 
So let's go ahead and do that. So notice that we were able to encrypt the data. Uh, now uh, to decrypt this data, this has to be in its binary format. Uh, so what we are going to do uh, is uh, get this data in its binary format. So I'm going to just copy this again. I'm going to say minus minus output text. Um, so now I should, uh, in fact, I should have said query. So let me do that. Query uh, for ciphertext block. So now what I got is just this information, right? Now I'm going to convert this uh, from the base64 format that it is in currently to uh, the binary format. So I'm going to say base64 minus di. Now I'm in Windows, so I'm using di. But if you're in Linux or Mac, uh, go ahead and use base64 minus d. Uh, and you're going to find all these instructions in the blog that is there in the description of this video. Um, so don't worry about that. So when I base64 uh, decode this, uh, notice that this is a binary content. I'm going to save this into a file. So I'm going to say uh, secret secret message dot enc. All right. So now I have two files. Uh, one is the secret message dot txt. Another one is the secret message dot uh, enc, uh, which basically is the encrypted data file. Right. Uh, now let's try to decrypt this really quickly. Uh, so I'm going to say AWS AWS KMS uh, decrypt minus minus uh, cipher cipher text blob and uh, I'm gonna use this encrypted file and uh, I'm gonna say region AP south one in fact uh, let's uh, try yeah let's go ahead and use this one Oh, sorry. I think I missed the file B here. All right. So notice that now we are able to decrypt this message. Now this is again uh, in its uh, base64 format. So I'm going to say echo uh, this message and uh, base64 minus di. And notice that we get hello from Mumbai, India. So we were able to decrypt the message uh, by hitting the same uh, endpoint. Now let's uh, try something different. What we are going to do now is we're going to go ahead uh, and instead of using the AP South one, so this command was successful, we're going to keep the command same except that we're going to change the region. So AP South East one. That's basically our Singapore region. And I notice that it says, you know, either uh, the customer master key does not exist or you don't have access to it right now obviously uh, in this case the key itself doesn't exist in this particular uh, ap southeast region but now that you have uh, in a way moved your data uh, to singapore region and now you're stuck now how do you uh, deal with this so aws has recently introduced multi-region keys uh, we just looked at the presentation for that now let's look at the demo so we are now what we are going to do is we're going to create a multi-region multi key uh, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. I'm back in my AWS console. I'm going to go ahead and say create key, symmetric key. That's all right. Um, I'm, I'm going to say multi-region key uh, next. And uh, let's give it a name. Uh, Mumbai key dash, sorry, key dash Mumbai Singapore, right? or we can call it multi-region multi-region and uh, yeah next uh, I'm gonna leave everything default because I've uh, configured on my WCLI the administrator user so uh, this shouldn't uh, matter so go ahead and next and this creates the standard key policy I'm gonna say finish so this is the key that we created uh, key multi region notice that it is enable uh, now up, uh, if you look at the single region keys they don't really have a mrk in front of it mrk stands for multi region keys so let's go ahead and open this key now notice that it says uh, regionality is multi region uh, and it says primary in front of it because we are in mumbai region and uh, mumbai region is the primary region for this key so now what we are going to do is uh, we're going to go here into the regionality and I'm going to say create a new replica key and I'm going to choose Singapore as the region. 
go ahead and next on that one and we can change the alias uh, if uh, if we want right but I'm gonna keep it as is uh, I'm gonna say next and uh, again since I'm using the administrator user I'm not gonna bother about uh, key administrators and key users um, and I'm gonna say and I understand um, the confirmation here and uh, so notice that what AWS says is I choose uh, here uh, so okay I understand the values I choose here are not synchronized with any other multi-region key now basically what uh, AWS does is it actually uh, makes sure that the key material uh, in Mumbai region for this particular key is also available in the target Singapore region so I'm gonna go ahead so it's a new fresh key only that it has the same key ID now notice that the status is creating right now uh, so let's uh, go back select our key once again come back to regionality um, it is enabled now right now what we can do is actually uh, go to KMS change my region so I'm gonna change my region to Singapore really quickly and uh, go to customer manage keys here and notice that I have this uh, multi-region key here right so this key has the same ID uh, notice that it is ending with AB1 uh, if we go back to our Mumbai region uh, in fact uh, we can actually select this one go to the regionality now notice that here it says regionality replica and it says uh, the Mumbai region AP South one has this key as primary so no worries now what we can do is we can use uh, the ID uh, from any region it it is the same ID in fact if you want uh, you can actually change the region and there you go right it's in Mumbai region same ID right so excellent now let's try to do the same thing that we did earlier uh, encrypting the file decrypting uh, using another region endpoint so let's go ahead and do that really quickly all right, I'm going to use this key uh, this time. So what we are going to do is uh, let me ls minus lt. I'm going to remove the secret message dot enc. We don't need that file. We're going to encrypt again. So let me clear the console. Let's uh, go ahead and quickly get our encryption command back. Uh, so again, all these commands are going to be available uh, to you. Uh, in the blog that is part of the description of this video so I'm gonna just go ahead and change the key ID here and everything remains the same so now notice that if I do ls minus LTR we have a secret message uh, which has gotten created it just got created now if I say date notice it 251 so 1451 so it's a new secret message dot ENC that has gotten created uh, with um, the region AP South 1 right now uh, earlier when we used the AP South East 1 uh, which is the Singapore region uh, this request had failed so let's go ahead and try to do the same thing here again so I'm gonna go ahead and say decrypt right uh, the file remains the same and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, now I'm gonna use the region as AP South East 1 this is where we got an error earlier so let's go ahead and do that so notice that now uh, because uh, in southeast region as well this key uh, has as uh, is present as a replica uh, we were able to uh, actually decrypt the message now let's look at the contents of this message really quickly so i'm gonna go ahead and echo this and base 64 minus di so notice that hello from mumbai india this message needs to be kept secure so just to summarize we first learned about um, why multi-region keys are required right um, you can read more about uh, them uh, here uh, so uh, this is a really important line it says uh, multi-region keys simplify any process that copies protected data into multiple regions such as disaster recovery backup DynamoDB global tables or digital sign signature applications that require the same signing key in multiple regions all right so we first looked at a presentation about uh, why multi-region keys are required and then we actually looked at a demo where we used the standard key a single region key and uh, we found out that if we try to decrypt the message from another endpoint in another region uh, it doesn't work however then we created a multi-region key uh, and we created a replica in Singapore region and we encrypted from one region uh, so if you look at uh, here 
we encrypted from uh, this region and the message uh, uh, was uh, secret message underscore ENC which we later decrypted using another region endpoint and we were able to do that uh, so that's basically about the multi-region keys um, and uh, please put in your questions uh, in the comments and uh, uh, do go through the blog it has all the instruction that uh, that you need uh, to carry out this demo yourself now once we are done uh, we can just go ahead and uh, uh, delete this key so first I'm gonna go ahead uh, to the Singapore region because I have to delete the replica first and then I have to go ahead and delete the main key so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, so I just go ahead and schedule key deletion I'm gonna say seven days because that's the minimum that it allows and I'm gonna confirm that schedule key deletion and then I'm gonna go to my Mumbai region and uh, go ahead and schedule the key deletion for this key as well so that basically uh, concludes uh, the demo uh, for multi-region keys and uh, thank you very much for joining uh, happy cloud computing everyone